were raised to be like that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God says don't be like that. Amen. All right. The other thing they say is exalting people's intellect. <coughs> we got a little bit more time. Exalting people's intellect. Go to verse 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Exalting people's intellect. A person who always wants to appear smart. It's called proof in the Bible. He's so prudent. Amen? That means he's intellectual. He's smart. But I like the one that says, you know, when God says he sees a prudent, private person, he says he's prudish and lacks equity. Anybody know what I just said? You know what prudish means? Uh, Remember with Popeye's? You know when Popeye didn't have Brutus on it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Guess what his name really meant? Stupid. So when you see the Bible, when you see the word Brutus in the Bible, and I used to walk up to people and say, Brother, you're very Brutus and black equity. Oh, thank you, brother. Instead of saying, what <laughs> He didn't know I was calling him stupid and he lacks integrity because the word equity means integrity. You have no integrity. Mm -hmm. So I just told the man he was stupid and lacks integrity. Mm -hmm. But because his pride level wanted to pretend he knew what I said, thank you, brother. <laughs> so somebody call you brutish, they call you stupid. So God says, you are brutish in your attitude. Amen? First Corinthians chapter 1. Verse 18 to 20. First Corinthians 1, verse 18 to 20 says, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. See, me standing up here to some of y'all is foolish. Watch. Okay, man. But unto us that are saved, it is the what? Power of God. For it is written, let's keep reading. How far are we going here? For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent, the intellectual, the smart person. I will make him look stupid. Amen. Verse 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? See? This world. Has no God made foolish the wisdom of this world? God has made it foolish. God says, even when we stand here preaching, you do foolishness unto them who are with the born. He has to use the foolishness of preaching to get you to come out of So every time you see a preacher, it's because God says, I have to use this foolish thing to get you to accept me. When all you should be able to do is walk outside, look at the stars in here, recognize the flowers that bloom every season. He said, oh, my God, it's so wonderful and lovely. <clears throat> when are you going to take time out to see God's creation and just say, man, couldn't no man do this? <clears throat> Only God can do this. Amen. When I first came down here, because we don't have many stars in the north, and I came outside my house, and I was like, wow. I even told my wife, let's just get up on the roof and make love to one another. Now, I'm not sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to go to jail. <laughs> See, making love to me is not sex. Okay? If I have a woman, I made love to you before I touched you. So by the time I get to touch you, it becomes worship unto God. Amen. Amen. Do you know love and sex is the greatest worship unto God? That's why he says don't fornicate. Amen. I finally got a wife that we pray that before we make love. We give it over to God because it's worship. That's why God was so upset with homosexuality because they did it in worship toward idols. So was he mad with the homosexual or was he mad with the act of worship toward another God? Amen. Look at the silence in this room. But have you ever thought about praying it in with your wife? Worship her. Worship it. It ain't just a gratification. Because if you were making love to her all week or making love to her all day, by the time you got to that act, it becomes wonderful. Worship unto God. Amen? Amen. I had to learn. I had to learn. But if it's just self gratification, you can do that by yourself. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because you're serving the God unto yourself. Amen. Beat the beat. All right. To overcome the world by faith. We got five minutes. Let's, let's talk about overcoming this now. You ready? All right. A few more scriptures and we're done. First John, chapter five. We're going to go through these scriptures real quick. First John. So we want some overcomers now, right? We're going to overcome the world, right? Yes. How many understand that the world is ready now? Amen. And we got to change our thinking concerning the world. Amen. Amen. First John 5. First John 5, verse 4. And it says, For who, for whatsoever is born of God overcomes the what? World. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Amen. So when you start learning God's ways, you overcome the world. And that's your faith that's going to help you do it. All right? Go to Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. This
this is for overcomers. Now, if you still want to stay stuck in the world, this ain't for you. Romans 10. How many of you ready to overcome the world? Amen. 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 And it's way. Romans 10, verse 17. What does it say? It said, so faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the what? Word of God. Because that's the only way you're going to overcome. you got to stay in your word. Your word is going to teach you God's ways and not the world's ways. Whenever you're struggling with something, I tell you, it's in there. Find it. And find God's answer to it. Because as long as you're walking, you're going to find out there's something you need to overcome until Jesus comes. Amen? You just matured past the thing that you don't bother you no more. Like, I'm not bothered by crack. I'm not bothered by sex or pornography or all that crap no more. You know why? I overcame it. But there are some things now in my thinking I can't overcome yet. Now I got to find out what God can help me through this. Now I got to find out the next thing after I overcome that. And then the next thing. Ongoing deliverance until God returns. But it matures you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Back to 1 John. Back to 1 John chapter 5 again. I don't know why I didn't put these back to back. I must have had a reason for it. 1 John 5 and 5. Who is he that overcome the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. That's why I did that. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Amen. Amen. How many of you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Amen. 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 Then you overcame the world. Amen. You overcome the world. He did it for you. He turned it over to you. Amen? Amen. All right, going back to the Gospel of John, and we're going to come to the close after this. I was going to teach you on spiritual growth, but I don't have time right now. Maybe I'll bring it back later. John, John. The Gospel of John 16. John 16. I hope y'all got something out of the night. And you understand the world and God's point of view of the world concerning the Word of God. Let me see where I'm going to go here. All right, go to verse 31. Right? John 16, 31, it says, And Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? Behold, the hour come, yes, is now come, that you shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone. Hello. Because the Father is with me. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you have tribulation. Oh, I love this. But be a good cheer. I have what? Over the world. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you for this word, Lord God. I thank you for those who have overcome. I thank you for those who are being delivered and that you have had grace and mercy on your life. Through healing, through blessing, and also through wisdom and understanding. So, Father, I just thank you. As these holidays come, that everyone be blessed. That everyone recognize and give you thanksgiving for waking up, for smiling, to be able to eat, to be able to walk, to be able to talk, and most of all, to be able to testify about your witness to them, that Jesus is risen and he is God. So I thank you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. And everybody in the house that agrees with me, just say amen. 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 amen.